Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Give me just a moment. I'm going to get my supplies set up. Um, you guys can also work on getting your stuff. You'll need a bowl, um, a measuring cup. Um, you'll only need about one cup of water, and then you'll need about two cups of the cornstarch, which is the can we sent you in the mail. The what? What is the cornstarch in? It's in a big green container. Like this. Okay. Does that help? Okay, so first, does everybody have their bowl ready? You're kind of quiet. I'm quiet? Okay. Let's see, maybe I can fix something. If any of you still need the materials, they're written right back here. So a bowl, the cornstarch in the little green container. Uh, a, one cup of water, food coloring if you want it, and something to mix it with. That can be your little grabbers if you want. Okay, maybe I'm just going to bring this forward. Okay, I'm just going to talk louder. Is this better? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. All right, so I have everybody has their bowl. Half. I have one and a half cups of water. Is that okay? Yep, that'll be fine. You'll just have to add more cornstarch. Okay. All right. So um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add in your water. Wait, what's the food color? I'm going to grab my food coloring. I forgot to get that. Um, uh, if we use like a kitchen uh, kind of cup that we use, would it go away, like the liquid? Yeah, it'll, it'll, um, it'll work if you use that bowl that you have. Okay. It's going to all clump up like slime. Yep, so I'm going to add in my food coloring right now. I think I'm going to do blue. You can add as many drops as you want. Okay, does everybody have their uh, their food coloring in their water? No, not yet? Okay. I made mine purple. Oh, that's fancy. Just like my Minecraft character. <laughs> Does everybody still need a moment? All right, well then I think we'll start with the next step. So here is the cornstarch that we sent you. If you want, you can pour it into your measuring cup and then slowly start adding it into your bowl. Um, I'm not going to do that because my measuring cup is wet and it might start clumping in the measuring cup. So I'm going to just use my spoon here and start gradually tapping the cornstarch into my liquid. You can stir it around a little bit as you go. Wait, you don't want to add this too to quickly, put? otherwise it's Food not going to work well. We were supposed to put food coloring in water? Yes, yes. but um, if you do it in the, this next step, like right now, that's okay too. It'll still work. The key is to add the cornstarch little by little. Yes. 
All right, so we can get another scoop here. And it is going to take a little bit um, of time. You'll know when it's ready, when it doesn't feel like a liquid, but it also doesn't feel like a solid. How much water should you put? Like one cup? Yep, just one cup is fine. If you want, if you go a little over, a little under, that's okay too. Well, how is everybody's stirring going? Geraldine says bad. Geraldine, why is it bad? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I know. Ooblek is no. messy. I made a big mess yesterday when I was practicing too, so it's okay. I was making, I was making a mess with that cornstarch just a second ago, second ago. With, the with the baking soda. soda. So how I much know, how much corn are we supposed to add? You just keep going until you, it doesn't feel like you have a liquid and it doesn't feel like you have a solid. You'll see what mine starts to look like. Wow, Walmart packs this cornstarch like with a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. I know it seems kind of tiring to keep doing all these scoops, but you just don't want to do it too fast. I have a small area to work with. And, oh, gosh, I'm making a mess on my pants. <laughs> yeah, it's best to wear kind of old clothes for this. Definitely forgot about that. <laughs> That's all right. It should wash out. Keyword should. <laughs> yes. Starting to get feel really hot. What their liquid is getting kind of solidy. Yeah, I mean it, it's a little chunky at spots. Yeah, yeah you probably feel some chunks at the bottom. bottom. Yeah. Okay, I think mine's getting close too. I need to add a little more. Mine's still pretty much water. All right, you'll just need to keep adding some more. It's a process. Don't don't worry. So it's a great thought you can put in your lab notebook. Yeah, yeah don't, don't be afraid to take a moment to write down any observations. Is the color of the water changing as you add the coin starch in? If so, write that down in your lab notebook. Or you can say it out loud. It was like really transparent and now it's really not. It's really opaque. Yeah, totally. Probably because cornstarch is opaque. Definitely. Big words, wow. I know mine used to be a really dark blue, but now it's kind of light blue. As you can see, mine is starting to get a little bit more clumpy. That means we're getting close to getting to that perfect oobleck consistency. Should start getting kind of hard to stir, and that's when you'll know that you're getting close. I think I just stained the bowl that I'm in, that I'm using. 
it should wash out with some dish soap. Hopefully, because I don't think my parents are be happy with that. <laughs> no, this I've used this bowl before and it washed out. As you can see, you guys see how this is getting kind of hard here at the top. I'm going to add yeah. a little bit more and mine's going to be pretty close to being done. Your arm maybe yeah. starts getting a little sore. I think mine has a lot more to go. It's still super watery. Yep, that's okay. Sometimes it takes a while. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know once it gets hard to stir and your arm starts to hurt. Also, when my plastic... Should it be like... Oh. Should it be kind of coming together? Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, so mine is pretty much done. I'm gonna start showing you what it looks like on my hands here. But if you see, do you see how this top part is hard? I can't get my spoon to go to the bottom of the bowl. You have to kind of push it slowly for that to work. I have a feeling I'm gonna use almost this entire container. <laughs> You'll probably use about half of it. Maybe yeah, I'm almost down to the halfway point, and I'm pretty much at it, and it's still liquidy. Same. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe about three-fourths. <laughs> and also, my bowl it's is like almost halfway full with water. <laughs> my my oobleck is not so oobleck -like. It's like chunky soup. Okay, so you see how when I'm, I can make it into a, a little ball here? Do you see that? But then when I let it go, it turns into a liquid. That's how you know you bleed yeah. a lot. You can make a ball and then it melts. Does anyone think they're getting close? Well, when I touch it, touch it with my fingers, it's hard. But when I just let it drop, it's really liquidy. Mm -hmm. But then when I put the spoon on top of the entire thing, it's fully liquid. If you push your spoon in slowly, then it'll be liquid. But you'll know it's correct if you just put your spoon on the top and it doesn't go through. Yeah, I definitely have a while to go because that's not that. Yep. I've got a good ball going from, from yesterday's yesterday job. Can you try it out? out? And like Sarah said, you can go make a ball out of it, and then it'll melt in your hand. I'm going to go downstairs to my kitchen to do that. <laughs> good idea. I don't want to get my carpet stained. It's already been stained with cat puke many times. <laughs> That's not very fun. I decided to add a little bit more cornstarch. You may decide that too after you playing, after you're playing with it. Does anyone think they are getting close now that they want to show the group? It seems very oobleky, but when I touch it, the top of it, it's it's, it's liquid. Yeah, yeah, sometimes that happens. Try to just um push slowly on it, and then it may feel like a solid. Okay. Um, I put my fingers in yeah, it, and that's probably a bad punch choice. Punch it hard. You can try punching it, too. That was a bad idea. If it feels hard, <laughs> then you know you've made it well. Oh, good job, Darlin. Oh, good job. Can I see yours, Sherilyn? I've used like almost the entire thing of coin starch. Maybe try to form a ball now. It might work. Mm -hmm. 
if you end up needing more corn stars and you don't have enough, you can always write in your notebook to ask why did I need more? Did I have a lot of water? Or what was going on? I just added a cup of water. So mine. I don't know if it's like so good. So I think I might have to add. Oh, that's strange. Yours is looking good. I, I might have to like... add a little more. It feels still a little liquidy. That's so strange. If you put like your mixing tool in super slow, it's liquidy. But if you go fast, it's not. Yeah, great yeah. observation. It's so thick. It it's so strange. It's like jello. Do you see how it's expanding in my hand when it's not being rolled into a ball? And then if you decide to make it smush it up into a ball, you see it can stay, but then it slowly starts turning into a liquid. Does anybody want to take a stab at why this is happening? I can give you some hints. So the reason why oobleck feels or feels thick when you clump it together um, and liquidy when you uh, let it go is because of this fancy word called viscosity. Does anybody know what that word means? I forgot. I've heard of it, but I forgot what it was called. <laughs> no problem. I learned about it in science class, but then I forgot. Same. So viscosity is a really fancy word of saying how thick a liquid is. Does that uh, ring any bells for anybody? Okay, so there's another fancy word we're going to talk about today. It's um, a word named after this really famous scientist named Isaac Newton. Has anyone ever heard of Isaac Newton? Yes. Yeah, so um, there's this word called Newtonian. And most fluids are Newtonian, which means uh, that the fluid remains at the same viscosity or thickness, um, no matter what you're doing to it. So example, water is a no Newtonian fluid. Does somebody want to explain to me what that means? Well, I can give you a hint. So water in a swimming pool feels and looks the same as rain, for example, or like a big wave. The state of, or the thickness of water never really changes. Oobleck, on the other hand, is a non-Newtonian fluid, which means the thickness of the liquid changes. So if you apply pressure to oobleck, you are increasing its viscosity or the thickness. If um, you do a quick tap on the surface, it will feel hard because the cornstarch particles are getting pushed together. <laughs> Sorry guys, just a second. I'm making a mess too. <laughs> if you do, um, or if you dip your hand slowly into the oobleck, your fingers will slide in as easily as water. So I'll show you guys that again. See how my hand is sinking in? But on the other hand, if you just do a quick tap, it feels hard. I can't get through. And that is because of that oobleck being a non-Newtonian -Newton fluid. And here are some of the words that she was just talking about. Yeah. Viscosity, which is just another word for the thickness of a liquid or um, an object or anything. And then a Newtonian float, 
fluid always has the same viscosity, so the same thickness, uh, no matter what's being done to it. And then non-Newtonian fluids, their viscosity changes based on their environment. So like if you're gently touching it versus punching it, the viscosity is different. Exactly. So does anyone want to share their oobleck or any of their um, observations? I'm still going. I'm still adding torn starch. <laughs> Has anyone figured or think they figured it out yet? I think I have. You have? You want to show? Hold up. Okay. So it's like gently, or it's like you put it in and just gets like this. And then. Yeah, good job. You get a blob of it and you stop playing with it and it just turns all liquidy. Yeah, exactly. All right, so I'm gonna go wash my hands. Um, the best way you can get rid of this is to either pour this into a Ziploc bag and throw it away. Um, but if that's too difficult, you could probably be fine to just scrape it into the garbage as well. Um, you don't wanna put this in your sink. It's probably gonna clog your pipe. <laughs> Sorry. It's probably gonna clog your sink and make your parents kind of mad. So don't do that. And if you want to play with it again someday, you should put more water in it so it'll oobleck back up. This is one from yesterday. If you're looking at my screen or at the camera, that's from yesterday and it got a little bit hard, uh, likely because some of the water evaporated. So if you just add a little splash of water, it'll oobleck right back up. 